Hi, this is Kevin Seitz of Mack and Seitz Baseball. Today is part two of fielding choppers. Part one, we focused on third base. Now we're going to focus on middle infield. But one thing that's a huge factor when a ball's hit into the dirt where you're getting a high chopper, ball that's not hit real hard, you need to know the speed of the runner. That's the most important part because if he can fly, you're going to have to come get it on the run. If he's not such a good runner, that gives you time to set your feet and catch the ball on a good hop to make a strong, accurate throw. But when you're fielding those, those balls that you have to come get, the speed of the runner will dictate how hard you have to go. So there's a couple of ways that you can go field that slow roller. We can come in and we can use two hands, catch it on our left foot, throw off of our right. That's one where we go two hands. The other one is where we come through and we get it one hand. It takes an extra step to where we deliver on the run. And then the third way is to get the, the bare hand slow roller where we want to catch it out front and we want to give with it. But the biggest part of all of these is watching the ball into our hand, watching the ball into our glove before we make that throw on the run. Thanks for joining us at Mackensides Baseball.